So we found the Austrian Jewish Holocaust Memorial, which was designed and built by the English contemporary artist Rachel White Reed. It took me a little while to find it. I got off the U-Bahn at Stephansplatz and I walked down a couple of streets trying to find it because the memorial is located in the central Jewish center of Vienna, which is aptly called Judenplatz, but it's kind of tucked away. So it took me a few wrong turns and guesswork tries to get here. But as you can see, it's pretty intense, very modern, very geometric. There's a lot of controversy when it was first built, actually. And uh, some of that controversy, I think, was because uh, the artist was English. And during World War II, Austria and England were enemies. So it's a little odd, but I think most people have largely gotten over any animosity because of that. So you can see here, it's the Star of David, and in Hebrew, and in German, and in English. It just says, in commemoration of more than 65,000 Austrian Jews who were killed by the Nazis in between 1938 and 1945. And then if you walk around this way, sorry, I'm not the best cameraman. If you walk around this way, starting with Auschwitz, which is one of the most famous concentration camps that Jews were killed at, slaved at, during the war. It goes down all the major locations in which there was genocide, in which Jew the Jewish people were subjected to those horrors. I wanted to make a video of this because, first of all, I don't think a monument like this can be aptly summed up in pictures, nor do I think it could be really completely, you know, um, what am I trying to say, completely brought to life through video, I guess, but it's definitely something better than photos, I think. You have to be here in life to really appreciate this. And I was really excited about coming to see this monument because I studied it in several of my art history classes. And uh, because for some reason, kind of personally, I mean, I mean, obviously people would care about, you know, the Holocaust and what happened, but for some reason to me, it really has always been a very sensitive issue. Um, I've always been both fascinated and horrified by what happened to the Jewish people and to everyone else because it wasn't only Jewish people who were um, subjected to this sort of horror of the Holocaust. It was Jewish people and you know homosexuals and uh, some mentally retarded, some people with disabilities. Pretty much anyone who was not smiled upon in the Hitler regime. You can see, if we go a little closer, it looks kind of like shelves of books. Actually, it really is supposed to because that was the intention. But there's a purpose in that, in that books are symbols in Jewish culture spheres of knowledge, and all of these shelves and shelves of books are unlabeled and unnamed and unmarked, as if to symbolize how all of these lives, all of these books of lives that could have been filled with experience and life and happiness and fulfillment were just destroyed. 
they weren't given any content with which to mark and so the books are blank the shelves are blank and again like I said when this was first built no one really liked it none of the Austrian people really seemed to catch on to it there was a lot of controversy um, in its design and in its placement and also because of who the artist was but I feel like now it's become relatively non a non-issue, so. Another interesting tidbit is that right behind this is the Jewish Museum, and underneath the memorial, apparently, you know, you can get to this place through the museum, is the remains of a Jewish synagogue that stood here before it was destroyed in 1420. So it wasn't destroyed during the Holocaust, it's actually destroyed centuries, centuries before. But apparently, some of the remains are located underneath the memorial, and you can get access to see that through the museum, which is this building right back here. The museum is going to close, so I don't think I'm going to go in today. It's going to close in like half an hour, so I think I'll come back in the next few days, maybe the next week. But I'm really glad I found this today, and I wanted to take a video because, I don't know, it means that much to me. Maybe in a past life, I or someone I knew or someone, you know, or for some reason I was, you know, personally affected by this tragedy. So... Alright then.